Welcome to the Metro Brokers online tutorial on how to log into the back end of your agent site and how to set up your MLS information. So once you are online, you want to go to the address bar and in here you are going to type in the website mymetrobrokersonline.com, hit enter and that is going to take you to the mymetrobrokersonline.com website. There's lots of information on this website for you on all these different tabs located up here. But to sign into the back end of your site, you want to go to the Virtual Office tab. It's the second one to the left and click on that. It's going to open a new window up here. And this is the Broker Agent Administration Login Panel. This is where you're going to sign into the back end by using your username and password. Um, so your username is always your first name dot your last name oops I didn't type first right first name dot last name at Colorado home stop dot com and the password that you're given is always a default password in the beginning. It's all lower click case. It is the word password and the number one. So all lower case password and the number one. Now you can click on this button that says remember me on this computer. Uh, but you don't want to do that right now because you're going to want to change that password to something that only you know. So we'll wait to do that and go ahead and sign in. This is opening up the back end of my agent site. This is where you're going to set up everything and you're also going to find all the tools you need um, to use the website. So to set up your MLS information, you're going to go to the My Website tab and it's the third one over from the left and click on that. This is primarily where you are going to set up your agent website and all these tabs over here to the left you can just go through them one by one and start setting your site up but the one we want to look at today is this third one down called the MLS info tab and you're going to click on that and it is going to open up this section where it will show who your MLS provider is and you may have more than one if you do not see your MLS providers over here then give us a call because we will need to set that up for you um, but let's say your MLS provider is MetroList you would go over to the edit button and click on that and then it's going to open these boxes that you can then type in the information for MetroList and for most of the MLS sources your MLS lag ID will be the ID that you use to log into your MetroList account and the same thing for your password so you will log in that information here and then click the update button for Iris they use a different login name than the MLS ID and you will need to contact them to find out what your MLS ID is in order to fill this in and if you have more than one uh, MLS source then you'll just fill both of them in. If you put all of your listings in both MetroList and Iris you may want to just choose one of them because if you choose both you're going to have duplicate listings appear because it's going to pull from both sources so it just depends on how you use your MLS sources you may or may not want both sources to appear here and that is the very basic of signing in and also of setting up your MLS information I want to also mention that the the crucial part of setting up your MLS information is that this is needed in order for your listings to appear on your agent site and also for you to be the presenting broker on your listings so it's very important information to get in here now since we used a default password password one in order to get you in for the first time 
you're going to want to change that password to something that only you know. And you're going to go to this tab over here, the password tab, and click on that. And on this tab, it's going to ask you for your current password. You're going to put in, oops, it's not, there we go. You're going to put in password one as your current password. Then choose a new password that only you know. Type it in and confirm it by retyping it and then click change password and um, it says password was ch changed successfully and then you are ready to go alright thank you for watching